Writing just one piece of data to a file has its uses, but ideally we would like to build on that and write many names or many pieces of information. So our next task is to modify the petition application to append names to the list rather than overwrite the file each time a new name is added. So you'll have seen when we ran the application earlier, I had entered Francis, then I entered Joe, and when we opened up the text file, Francis was no longer there, but Joe was instead. So there are a couple of steps involved in making this change so that we append the data to the file rather than replace the data that's already in there. The first step is to add a true Boolean parameter to the file writer class to instruct the class to write to the end of the file rather than the beginning. And let's take a look at that first. So where we created our file writer, where we create our file writer, we put the word true as a parameter as well. So where our out file is, we add a second parameter, true. We also then, if we take a look at our next step, we need to use the new line method from the buffered writer class to return a new to a new line before writing another name. Because otherwise, all of our names are going to be on one line, which is fine, except then we need to separate them by spaces and we're going to be reading things one line at a time. So it's more straightforward. If each thing is on its own separate line, then we can just read each line with the read line method. So after we write the name, there's another method available to us in the buffered writer class, bw dot, and you see, should see it here, new line. And that's going to bring the cursor to the new line so that the next name that's written to the file is appended on the next line rather than overwriting the name that's already there or even appending to the same line as what's there. So let's try that out. Remember now, if we take a look at our text file just quickly, we have Francis Sheridan in there. So let's now add Joe blogs, submit signature, okay, view petition, Francis Sheridan, Joe blogs. Now they're both coming out on the same line. So let's take a look at our petition, okay. That may be because when I wrote Francis Sheridan to the file in the first instance, we hadn't got the new line character in there. So let's delete this file and try again. Okay, so we'll run our application one more time. And this time we'll do Francis Sheridan and submit signature. Thank you for signing the petition. And then we'll do Joe blogs. Submit signature, okay. And then view petition, Francis Sheridan. And it's only showing me the one. But if we go to our text file, you'll see Francis Sheridan and Joe Bloggs have been written to the file, each on their own separate line.